All right, uh, for another fun, fun video. Now we're getting to shooting. This is a shooting video. Now, uh, first of all, oof. I'm just showing how we get in basic shooting stance. Everyone has a different shooting stance or where they place the ball and everything. But what I want to stress the most right now is uh, the feet. Now, any good shooter and every NBA player does this, but they stagger their feet. Now, I talked about this before, but I didn't go in detail, so now I am. Is what that means if you watch, look at my friend's feet. His feet, like if I drew a line, they don't go straight across like this bar down here. They're on an angle, which and it's his right foot is slightly leading his uh, left foot. Why does his right foot lead his left foot? Because he's right-handed. If you were left-handed, your left foot would lead your uh, would lead. <sighs> so, also another confusing concept for a lot of kids to grasp is that your toes won't be pointed at the basket. Um, they'll be on an angle. So, um, I remember when I changed my feet, my shot changed uh, dramatically. If you watch Larry Bird, if you watch, um, you know, Steve Nash, Man Ginobili, or just any professional player, but Larry Bird really exaggerates turning his feet. They all do it. We're all just talking about degrees. So you want to stagger your feet to where you feel comfortable. Again, if you like if he's facing the, he is facing the basketball, you can't see the basketball. His feet are not aimed directly at the basket. They're on an angle. So um I'm gonna play the video and show more of his feet and where they're at. But you want to get your feet like that and get in the habit of doing it now. Um, so I'm just closing in, uh, showing a close up on them, how they're angled. So they're staggered, which means right's in front of his left, and they're also on an angle. Don't ask me to explain the science of it. I just understand that it allows your uh, hands and shoulders and everything to line up to the basket a lot easier and evenly. So uh, a lot of kids tend to do it the other way and like uh, put their feet the other way and that's why they tend to throw their arm across their body to overcompensate for that. But we're going to go into all that here soon. It's really um, shouldn't be much to show in slow motion here. You just have to pay attention to what his feet are like. Watch professional players or YouTube videos to see how their feet are. Um, also, again, when he shoots, this is another detail I need to point out. Um, I don't know why he did that. Uh, so if you look at his it, uh, his um, his knees, he has like a solid base. So he's about shoulder width apart, which means his feet are just a little bit beyond his shoulders. Um, but a small, a uh, little detail I want to point out because a lot of kids tend to do this is that they tend to take this knee or their lead knee. And they bend it, they like collapse it way in to go shoot, or they bend it way inside to shoot, and then they push off of it out. But if you watch when he goes to elevates, when he goes to shoot, his knee doesn't go this way, it just goes straight down. And there's a lot of times to go up, just like this. So again, if you have that problem, fix it and realize that you're doing that. Um, because you don't want to throw your lead knee to your other knee and then shoot. That does, it's not going to give you any more momentum. You just want to go straight down, bend your knee, and go back up. Play that again. So again, I don't think there's really any need for slow motion in this video unless I see something. You just need to get a solid base. What we're developing in this video is showing your feet and developing a solid base for your shot. So we're just going to watch, uh, play the rest of this out. 
And there we go. So uh, pretty much this was for feet. And next video will be uh, on the body and hands. All right, we're going over shooting again. Uh, this is just him at the free throw line this time. Just trying to show his feet when he gets in position. He sets his feet up. Uh, again, how they're staggered and how they're angled. Uh, I just wanted to also show you on this one because the free throw line, I use the line as uh, how you can judge where his feet are at, where they are towards the basket. So if you watch him as he shoots a free throw, and if you watch, I'm telling you, watch all college and pro players and just watch their feet and they all shoot like this. So if you notice, again, like I said last time, that his, uh, because he's right handed, his right foot is in the lead and go, is uh, slightly leading his left, and his feet or his toes. Are not complete, are not exactly pointed at the basket, but a little for him would be a little to the left of it. Now, all this is just how where you feel comfortable. All this is degrees, and all this is where each person feels comfortable. Like I said, some other people turn their feet on a crazy angle to make them feel comfortable. Some are a little more, uh, more angled at the basket. Just find a comfortable position where you're at, but ultimately, you want it to have that staggered angled base. So here he goes. He's about to step into it. It's a good video, or a good shot, I think. So this is him about to step into the basket. He receives the ball, steps his other foot in, and goes straight up. Um, again, I don't think there's any need to show slow motion uh, for this video. He's setting up to catch the ball, steps up, gets in his proper position, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much for this video. And again, that's just uh, feet and uh, having a solid foundation and base for shooting. All right, now. Uh, for this part, this is still shooting. We looked at the feet and how they should be placed. Now we're going to look at the hands and uh, and uh, what they should do when they come up for a shot um, and bringing up the ball. So my friend here, and I'm going to do mine in a second, but my friend here likes to place the ball more in the middle and bring it up. I like to place mine on like on the side like in triple threat position and then bring up and shoot so that's why you'll see a lot of articles written on shooting where some people are considered more shoulder shot shoulder shooters or some people are what they call like the finger like the index finger going through the not through the nose shot where it comes up through the middle it's just all preference but I'm gonna show you like uh, just bring the ball up so when it brings up the ball one thing he does is you wanna get this position here. Now he really brings up his left elbow um, to shoot. But you don't have to do that. That's why it, it's hard to tell someone to exactly shoot because every person has their own unique shot. I mean they all have similar characteristics or one thing they might do but there are a lot of differences too. A lot of NBA players just shoot differently and um, one thing I, for sure, though, as I can tell you, is uh, they all have their um, their right elbow in. You don't want your right elbow to go out. Like my friend, he has his right elbow in. He just raises his uh, left arm, his left elbow, just for security. And Steve Nash shoots like this. Um, but ultimately, he's bringing it to a position where he can shoot. So. Uh, I'll just play that in slow motion a little bit. And I'll show you mine. But also watch professional players and how theirs is. Because it's all about where you feel comfortable with your shot. So what he does is, one, he does have proper hand position. He keeps his, uh, his right elbow in. Bends his knees. And you want to get generally around that area. But I can't stress enough, again, find your own shot. 
find your uh, watch NBA players who you find it comfortable with. Generally, uh, you want to make sure that your right elbow is in. Like I said, my friend here likes to stick his left elbow a little more out, kind of like Mono Ginobili shoots or Nash shoots. But um, others like to have it a little in, and he also shoots a little bit from the shoulder. Um, some people bring it up, like I said, in the middle, of, like near their face. Some people with their shoulders. It's all preference. But for right now, I'm just trying to give you like a small foundation of what someone's could look like, or at least for right now, just bringing the ball up. So when you have it like triple threat position, or you have it in the middle of how you bring the ball up to shooting position. So he bends his bends his knees, he gets his right hand, um, from what I was told in the past, you get your right hand in position like you're holding a pizza box, so he gets in the pizza box like that, um, and also just to go in more detail about this, with the hands, I've heard different people say different things with their hands, if you notice my friend, he has a small gap right there with his right hand so he more he shoots more with his fingertips it, again it's hard to tell you exactly how you need to shoot or how someone should shoot because there are different ways of doing it um, there are look, again let me say this there's foundation to how they all like most good shooters shoot but there's little nuances where it make them different even Steph Curry talks about how he likes that small little gap there but preferably for me, I like to have my whole palm on there, which a lot of people would say don't shoot like that, but it works out for me really well. It makes me feel like I have a good grasp on the ball, and uh, I got my shot from uh, Steve Nash, and I watched a lot of his and how he held it. Um, yeah, so um, again, this isn't, you know, uh, he has a good shot, but... Uh, See, and that's where we feel comfortable. And notice where his hands are on the ball. Pay attention to just every detail when he's doing. If it doesn't, if yours looks or feels kind of off, it's just where the ball is on the side, how he is elevating. Watch how he uses his knees and his lower body. And um, again, he started from the middle. I like to start. I like to start from triple threat positions. However, you feel comfortable. But also pay attention to his feet and everything he's doing like we talked about in the past. And that's pretty much it for that video. There's not much more to be said. We're all just piecing it together for right now. Um, so first we start with the feet, and now we're starting with the body and raising the ball to the position to shoot. And now we're going to go over uh, the finish. All right, uh, now um, I was showing how you bring up the ball, and now I showed my friend I'm um, showing mine just to give you a different variation of how people look. Now, um, if you watch me, I'm in triple threat position. Also kind of from the middle when I shoot. But pay attention to my feet, my staggered stance. Again, I also like to keep my elbow out. I don't know if it's because I just watched too much Ginobili and Steve Nash doing it. But uh, it's not really much to be said on this except I mean, we've gone over all the details. You just need to watch and find a place comfortable for you. I'm just trying to lay down a foundation of how it will look like with your hands. And uh, if you notice my hands here, step up my foot, lay it like it's on a pizza box, bend my knees. So I'm just briefly showing you on how, uh, how it would look and how your lower body would look. And do this drill to practice good form. It's just stepping into it and holding it there. And going back. And stepping into it. And then holding it there. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, like I said, there's not much to 
say I said watch this in slow motion and just see how you can find your own foundation. But again, watch watch placement of the hands, placement of the arms. You don't have to shoot exactly like this. I'm just showing generally what most guys do when they uh, have form for their shot. So uh, next we'll go through uh, elevating and follow through.